Good evening, everyone. Hello. Hi, Gina. Hi, Kimmet. Hello. I have to put you on mute. Yep, everybody mute yourself. Hi, Janine. Hi, Jerry. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to give everybody a couple of minutes. I wanted to actually, the clock in my office is five minutes slow, so I need to fix that. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Joy. Hi, Martina. Hi. Hi, Tanisha. Hi, Mildred. I hope you're feeling better. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Let me, I'm going to go ahead and mute everyone. I can't see myself. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I guess if I remove the sticky from my camera, then that'll be good, right? Hi, Renee. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, so let me go ahead and mute everyone. But you can unmute yourself. So good evening and welcome all new business partners. This is the Team Lux training. Um, we do this training every Monday at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, sometimes the topics are things that you guys have brought to me and you said, you know, can you do some training on this? I need help on this. And other times it's stuff that I just see that we kind of need help with. Um, or it might be something new that I learned that I want to share with you, or just a, sometimes it's just a Q and A. Um, got a lot of good feedback from the last time we didn't meet on this past Monday, cause I was at ITQ 2019 and met a lot of you for the very first time. It was a lot of fun. And I hope to see you all at ITQ 2020, which is going to be in Las Vegas. Um, but the time before that we had a Q and A and I got a lot of great feedback. Feedback. So tonight's topic is going to be about leadership and what your responsibility is to your new business partner. And you are a leader the very first time you bring one person. So if you have one person on your team, you are a leader, right? It doesn't mean that you're a one-star director, that now you're a leader, or once you hit goal builder, when you bring that very first business partner in, you are a leader. So what is your responsibility to them? Number one, get to know your new business partner and have a very clear understanding of what their needs are, what the reason is that they wanna join the business. Everyone joins this business for different reasons, right? And think about the reason that you join the business, right? Some people join, I could tell you, Kamet joined the business because she traveled a lot and it made sense for her to own, earn a commission on her own trip. That was why she joined the business, right? Um, other people joined the business because they are the family reunion planner. And they're like, I do it every year. I might as well get paid for it, all right? Other people join, lipstick is halfway coming off. Other people join the business because they want to retire in the next three to five years, right? So if you're having that conversation with that person and that's what they tell you, well, you need to find out, well, how much do you need to retire, right? And, and look at the compensation plan and says, okay, we need to get you here in order to achieve that. Some people join the business because um, they, they love the social environment. There are some people who are introverts and they don't want to be introverts. Um, you know, they don't have a lot of family and they love the culture. They love going to the business opportunity meetings. They love going to the conventions and the fam trips just to be around positive people. And that's all they want. They don't care if they don't make a dollar ever. They don't care if they ever booked a trip. They just want to be a part of the culture. There are some people that are looking to make a career change, right? And in which case you need to have an understanding of what career are they leaving from? What skills are they coming into this industry with? How much income they need? You need to know those things. One of the biggest 
um, mistakes that we do as leaders is we treat everybody the same. And you can't do that. So I'm gonna give you an example of why you can't treat everybody the same. Let's say you guys went to the gym. You went to the gym and at this gym that you own, you have a personal trainer by the name of Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Big muscle guy, you know, he is going to be the perfect trainer for someone who wants to do bodybuilding competitions, right? Um, you know, that sort of thing. But then you have, let's say your grandmother signs up for a membership at this gym. And why is she going to the gym? Is she trying to be a bodybuilder? No, grandma just wants to keep her, her, her bones limber, right? She just wants to stay active, right? She wants to lift the two pound weight right? She ain't trying to run on a treadmill. She, she just wants to walk around the track at her own pace, right? Arnold Schwarzenegger cannot train your grandmother the same way he's going to train the person who wants to do competitive bodybuilding. And that's what we as leaders tend to do when people join our network marketing business. So it's your responsibility to have a very clear understanding of what it is your business partner wants out of this opportunity. And whatever it is that they want, you want to lead them down the path that they want, not the path because that you want, which is, you know, if you're trying to be director, you're like, no, I need them to build. They might not be here for that. Um, I want you guys to write this statistic down because this is going to be really, really helpful for you. 5% of your team want to be top income earners. 5% of your team want to be top income earners, meaning they want to make six or seven figures. Those people don't need any motivation. Those people, they're hungry. They are going to go get it. If you're not giving them what they need to make the money, they're going to get it from somebody else. They're going to talk to your upline. They're going to go to Mr. Moore, Mr. Scott. They might even reach out to Mr. Bradley or JP, right? They're going to go to self-help seminars. They're going to be on YouTube, you know, finding videos to help them sharpen their skills. They're going to do whatever it takes, regardless of what you do. You can quit the business. They still going to go for it right? Only 5%. So out of every 100 people in your organization, only five of them have a desire to be a six or seven figure income earner. Okay. Keep that in mind. 15% of your team want to make maybe an extra two to $5,000. They're not looking to make six figures. They're not looking to make $8,333 a month. They're just looking for an extra anywhere between two and $5,000, okay? That's, that's a big deal for some people, right? That's, that's doubling some people's salary. I know when I was working in corporate America, I was only bringing home 1,400 a month as an administrative assistant. So yeah, coming into the business, wanna make 2,000, that's a big deal, right? So you need to help those people achieve what it is that they want. Those are the people who, once they hit one star director, they're probably not gonna go any further. They'll never be two star. They don't have a desire to be two star. They're good with, you know, one star director. They're not really going to push to go two, three, four. Okay. 80% of your team wants to make an extra $500 to $1,000 a month. 80%. Now, I promise you, almost everybody that you bring into the business when you have that um, game plan interview, a lot of them are going to say they want to make the big, big money, but they're not willing to do the work to make the big, big money. Okay. So realistically, 80% of your team, they're just looking to make 500 to a thousand dollars a month. So basically they're going to hit gold builder at gold builder. You're kind of expected to make, or your goal should be to make a hundred dollars a week. So maybe $400 a month. Um, once you get, you know, 2020, now you're, you know, you're six, $700 a month, okay? So 80% of your team wants to do that. So keep in mind, part of that 80% is going to be, is going to include people who just want to be a part of our culture, right? Part of that 80% is going to be your ITA only, they only got in the business to be an ITA. They're not trying to be a builder. Maybe they're that person. They plan a family reunion every single year. And they're like, oh, this business makes sense. Now I can get paid. 
or they're that go-to person in their family who's always researching trips for someone, right? They're part of that 80%. Um, or they're gonna be that person who just wants to save on their own trip, right? Like Cam Matt when she first joined. Didn't wanna be a builder, didn't wanna go to any meeting. She's like, no, I travel a lot. I just wanna save on my own. So the goal, your main goal, for those of you that are, are building a team that are leaders, your goal is to retain the 80%. That is where your focus needs to be. Not on the 5%. The 5% don't need you. <laughs> they don't need you, right? Kamet has gone from being part of the 80% to now part of the 5%. She don't need me. If she needs me, she'll raise her hand, but I don't need to motivate her to make six or seven figures. She's going for it. She's made that clear, right? But it's the people who just joined that want to make the $500 to $1,000 a month. That's where our focus has to be because retention is real, right? Retention is real. Attrition is real. Attrition is when someone goes on credit hold and you go from a gold builder to silver and just, you know, 24 hours and you're like, ah, right why because maybe you were trying to push that 80 percenter to become a five percenter and they didn't like that it wasn't comfortable for them that's not what they want and so we want to in order to retain that 80 percent we have to create a culture that makes them want to be a part of it and that is exactly what myself and our leaders are trying to do in our Team Lux Platinum group, is to create a culture that they want to be a part of. And the way to do that is to find things to celebrate about the 80 percenters, right? So what type of things can we do to create a fun culture that the 80 percenters would wanna say, you know what, I'm staying, I'm never getting rid of my business. We find things to celebrate. When that 80 percenter makes their first booking, we need to post about that. Congratulations to so-and-so on booking their first hotel or their first you know, vacation package, their first cruise, right? Um, celebrating birthdays, which we, we all kind of do anyway. Maybe it's the first time that they attend their weekly meeting, right? If they're only here for the culture, they're going to the weekly meetings. Let's celebrate the first time they attend their weekly meeting. Let's celebrate when they get a certification. Maybe they complete their Disney certification or the Windjammer. We need, to, we need to be celebrating that in a group. Congratulations to Mary on completing her Windjammer certification, right? Maybe we're celebrating that they attended um, Dreammaker and now they're a Dreammaker. Congratulations, you know, to Gina on becoming a Dreammaker. Um, other things, and it doesn't even have to be business. Maybe your new business partner is attending school. They went back to school and now they graduated and they got their bachelor's or their associates, whatever. Let's celebrate that. Let's shout them out in a group. You know, congratulations on so-and-so. They completed their nursing degree or they got their bachelor's. Somebody has a new baby. Let's shout them out. Congratulations on so-and-so's new baby or so-and-so just became a grandma for the first time or the second time or the fifth time. You want to find anything and everything to celebrate with the 80 percenters. And if you do that, they'll never leave. They're not going to go on credit hold because there are some people in this business, guys, who have never been acknowledged or recognized for anything in their life ever. Not from their family, not from their job. You have to celebrate them and, and just to, let me tell you something that I do that I, I just recently started doing because I've been studying my craft, right? I wanna become the best leader that I can be for all of you. I don't know all the answers. I'll never know. I'm always a student learning. But one of the things that I started doing, you know how we always celebrate Gold Builder? Like, that's it. You hit gold. We, you know, we're ready to throw a party and, and, and do a happy dance for you. But one of the things I started doing is when someone hits bronze, I actually write out a card and congratulate them and mail it to them, to the bronze builders, because bronze is a big deal. Honestly, bronze is a bigger deal than gold builder. Because in the industry of network marketing, the average person never enrolls more than 2.5 people. I don't know where the 0.5 comes in. Don't ask me. I didn't create the statistic. So for someone to enroll three people, they beat the odds. That is a big deal. 
And to have, imagine your business partner receiving a hand note from you saying, congratulations, way to go. You know, you just proved that you can do this. Keep going. You know, I'm rooting for you. I'm here for you. Anything I can do. That, that's going to mean everything to them. And I've gotten so many people who have sent me messages saying, Tanisha, I received your card. Thank you so much. I, I was almost in tears. I'm so encouraged. I love this business. I'm so excited. And what did it cost me? 99 cents, 50 cents to get that card plus the stamp and five minutes of my time, right? You want to celebrate the little things because for some people, that's all they're ever going to get in life. And we want to retain those people. So it is about the 80%. So all of you that are on right now, there's 32 of you on, I need your help with that. It can't just be Tanisha saying, congratulations to this, congratulations. I need you all to take responsibility for the people that you have enrolled, right? And find something to recognize them for. Find something to recognize them for, anything, anything, because you want them to stick around, right? I have some business partners that it's been a rough month, I have to say. It's been a rough month. I have some business partners that have been sick. I have some business partners that have um, family members that have passed away. And guess what? I'm sending get well cards to them. I'm sending condolence, condolence cards to them because I want them to know, one, I do care. I truly do care, but I want them to know that, that they're not just the number to me. They weren't just $50 in my pocket. They're not just a $4 residual income. I truly care about these people. They, you guys have become my family. I spend more time with you guys than I do with my actual family. And that, I believe that that's the way it should be. I, I partnered with you. You have partnered with me. You have trusted me with your goals. I'm here to help you. And I want you to know that I'm in it with you. And so it's the little things, you guys. The recognition is huge. So again, me, the directors, we can't be the only ones celebrating people in Team Lux. You as leaders need to take responsibility for your own business partners and find something to celebrate them for and shout them out in a group. And that's gonna create duplication as well. If you notice, we started doing challenges in the group, right? Um, Follow-up Friday, you know, going live challenges, things like that, prospecting challenges. How many people can you prospect today, right? We're helping your team learn duplication. And so we want you to celebrate with that and participate and engage. Don't just read the posts in our group, comment, high five, like, love, you know, make some comments or something. Help create the culture because it's not just benefiting me, it's benefiting you. When your business partner sees you engaging in a group and celebrating and they want to be acknowledged and they're going to do the same thing, they're going to duplicate the process. So now you have a whole team of people helping you with retention, helping you teach that duplication. It's so, so important. It's the recognition that is everything. So recognizing that 80%. Um, your responsibility as a leader is also to plug them into the system. Plug them in. That means when you get a new business partner, you should be adding them to the team chat that your leader has created. You should be adding them to the Team Lux Platinum group, the Legacy group on Facebook, which is Mr. Scott's group, the Team 20 Percenters group, the IntelliTravel Departure Lounge, the Q&A video with Jessica Sinema and let them know that you are adding them to those groups and that they need to accept the invitation, right? Because Facebook changed its, um, you know, its rules and you can't just add people. You can only invite people to join these groups. So it's important that you let them know, hey, I'm adding you to these groups, check your notifications and accept the invitation. I'm plugging you into the system. It's also important that you um, make sure they're aware of all the meetings and calls, right? Let them know about this team training on Monday nights. Let them know about Mr. Moore's team call on Tuesday nights. Let them know about um, our, our team group, um, our launch on Fridays. Let them know about the legacy team call Sunday nights. Let them know about the Planet Marketing Please mute your line. 
Somebody's not muted. Please mute yourself. I can't see who that is. Mary, mute yourself. Yeah, it's Mary. And it won't let me mute her. Mary, pre press mute. Hi, Robert. Let me yeah, unmute everybody and try to mute you guys again. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Um, where was I? I don't remember what I was saying. <laughs> Oh, plugging them into the, the calls. So make sure, you know, tell them, hey, these are all the calls. These are the numbers. Put them on your calendar. Set them up as a recurring call or appointment so that you don't miss it. Make sure they know where to find their local meeting, right? Help them with the app, the mobile app, and walk them through the app. Make sure they know how to log into the app, how to send videos, and how to find where their local meeting is. Plug them into the system. And let's talk about onboarding them. Your new business partners, if you are a gold builder or above, you should be onboarding your new business partner. If you are not a gold builder, you shouldn't onboard them. Pass them on to your gold builder. Um, because let's say someone who is part of that 80 percenter, they are they're here for the culture. They're not trying to be a builder. They don't, they just love being part of the culture, but their sister sees them in the business and say, Hey, I want to do what you do. Is that person really in a position to onboard the sister? They're not right. So, but that gold builder, that person who's here to build, they are the person that's qualified to onboard your new business partner. So my suggestion of, um, you guys are all CEOs, you can do whatever you want, but my suggestion is if you are not a gold builder, don't try to onboard your person. You should be introducing your new business partner to your gold builder or your director and have them onboard them for you. Now, once you've brought on nine people and you've, shadowed and watched your gold builder or your one-star director on board nine of your new business partners, now you're able to duplicate the process. And that 10th person is all you. You should be able to onboard them and, and walk them through their back offices and you know show them all the tools and resources and everything, right? But if you're not a gold builder and you bring on a new business person, you should be scheduling that onboarding session with your gold builder or above. That is my suggestion to make sure. Um, it's kind of like a quality control, okay? Um, the welcome call. As a leader, it is your responsibility to introduce your new business partner to either your gold builder or your director. Why is that important? Guys, that is so important. Number one, you want your new business partner to know that they have layers of leadership, right? Most of you are working this business on a part-time basis. You have full-time jobs. You know, your, your parents, you got kids. Some of you are in school. Some of you are working two jobs or night jobs. And you want your business partner to know that if they can't reach you, that they have some, someone else that they can go to right? Or maybe they have a goal or, or maybe they have someone they want to prospect. They don't know how to reach them. You want them to know that they can go to someone. You may not be a strong prospect or a strong recruiter, but your director or your goal builder is. Do you want your new business partner learning how to prospect from you or from someone who's documented, right? That's one reason. Another reason, let's say you have a crisis in your family and you have to you know, put your business on hold or step away, not put your business on hold, but kind of step away from the business for a few weeks to deal with whatever's going on in your family. Do you want your entire downline to just fall to the wayside because they don't know anybody but you and you're not available to them? You don't want to do that. And I've seen it happen. I have someone on my team right now who alienated their entire team from myself and the rest of us and their entire team fell apart. They're, they're rebuilding from scratch 
just because they didn't introduce their new business partners to myself. They didn't plug them into our chat. They didn't plug them into the team groups. They were the only person that their team knew. And guess what? That person ended up having some health issues, you know, having a baby, all of that, and their entire team fell apart. But had they plugged their new business partner into the chats, introduced them to me so that I can, you know, build a relationship with them, right? Maybe introduce them to Mr. Scott so they see they have layers of leadership. They wouldn't be building from scratch right now. Those people would have stuck around, okay? So as a leader, it's your responsibility to do a welcome call with your, all of your new business partners, even if they're just an ITA only, with your goal builder or your director. Very, very important. So I want all of you, if you haven't been doing that, I want you to go back through your genealogy and set up those welcome calls with your goal builder or director for your team, okay? It's never too late to get it right, right? When you, um, when you know better, you do better, okay? Um, it's important as a leader that you let your new business partner know that you are there to help them. Don't just sign them up, walk them through everything, and then, okay, you're on your own now. Let them know that you are there to help them. Your door is always open, that they can call you, they can text you, whatever, that you are there to help them and that if you don't have the answer, you have layers of leadership and you can direct them in the right place to get the information. But they need to know that you're there. They partnered with you because you told them that you could help them achieve their goals. So make sure you help your people. They know that you are there. Um, I often have to tell my new business partners, please don't feel like, oh, Tanisha, you're so busy. I didn't want to bother you. No, don't do that. That's why I have an online calendar. If I'm busy, my calendar will be blocked, <laughs> right? If I'm not busy, it Please book yourself so that we can talk about whatever it is that you need. So make sure your, your new business partner knows that you are there to help them no matter what. And they should never be afraid or think that you're too busy to help them with their business, okay? Um, and last but not least, as a leader, keep prospecting. Never stop recruiting. Never, ever, ever stop recruiting and prospecting. People are going to go on credit hold. People are going to cancel. You have to show them that this business works. You have to keep recruiting. And so the statistic, 80% of your time when you're working your business, you should be recruiting. If you're a builder, 80% of your time should be recruiting and prospecting. And 20% of your time should be spent with your team right? Creating that, that culture, that fun culture that they love, um, you know, helping them with, you know, questions that they may have. That should be 20% of your time, but 80% of your time should be prospecting. And remember, we have that just ask peak interest script. It's a gold mine. So basically 80% of your time, you should be using that script, prospecting or doing travel parties or private business receptions, anything like that. Okay. So that's all I have. I'm going to go to the chat and see what comments you guys have or questions. Let's see, Gina says, I'm still at the dance studio. Okay, Gina. Teresa said, that's really good. Mildred said, that's an incentive to keep going forward. Absolutely, recognition. Teresa said, recognition means a lot. You're right, people want to know that they are not by themselves. Absolutely. So anybody have any questions? Go ahead and unmute yourself. If you have a question, I want this to be interactive. Thank you. There's 34 of you on the line. I love it. I love it. Anybody have any questions? Has anybody noticed the change in our team group that there's a lot more interaction and engaging going? Hi, Sharlinda. Did you have a question? Log off, baby. Oh. Hi, George. Did you have Hello. a question? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm actually um, reading that, as you see. Um, get ready to make some calls now. Awesome. Awesome. Did you enjoy the training tonight? Did you learn anything? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's um, reinforcement to let you know you got to keep everyone engaged. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Engagement is key, is key yeah. for sure. 
Awesome. Mm -hmm. Everybody, that's George, me and Andy's new business partner. <laughs> Jacksonville. Hey, <Florida>. everybody. <laughs> Anybody else have any questions or comments? Mm -hmm. Let's get some dialogue going. Anybody? Hey, Tanisha, this is Lisa. Hi, Lisa, how are you? I'm good. Well, what I can say is that I have been, I keep, I keep um, uh, sending that strip that you guys got it. Your strip is very helpful. Um, I'm on your calendar at nine thirty in the morning for our one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay. <laughs> um, overall, it's going great. I hate that I pro procrastinated when I first came into the business. I have been in business a year. Um, I think I would be way further by now, but I am on a track. I am on. I'm coach. I'm being coachable, so I am just following you all's lead. Awesome. Awesome. So let me ask you this, if you don't mind me asking, because a lot of people are just like you, right? They joined the business and they didn't really, I don't know, they just didn't take it serious in the beginning. What was it that made that happen that made you get serious and say, you know what, I need to get focused and really, really get engaged and build this business? Just watching, just seeing everybody else's success, and I am one that is hungry, you know, and me coming from a small town, not having much and stuff like that, and my wife, just my family all together, and so... I'm the one that's going to bring my family out of poverty. So just by seeing everybody else's success, and I know I can do just as well as you guys can. Exactly, exactly. And guys, I want you to really pay attention to what she said. She said, seeing everybody else's success. And that ties right back into the recognition that I was talking about in Team Lux Platinum, right? If nobody is recognizing anybody in Team Lux Platinum, how would she see that anybody's winning? Think about that, right? It's because she's seeing the announcements, the high fives, right? The congratulations and stuff. And she's like, well, man, if they could do it, I could do it. Whether she's looking to make 500, 5,000 or $5 million, she's seeing people winning and being celebrated. And she's like, if they could do it, I could do it. That's why the recognition is so, so important. So there may be people on your team right now, guys, that have zero business partners they've never enrolled anybody that could literally come to life because they're seeing recognition in team lux platinum that is so powerful and the, and also think about this announcing new business partners on your personal page is huge and so many of you are not doing it whenever somebody joins team lux platinum you should be copying and pasting that announcement on your personal page. Congratulations to our newest business partner, George out of Jacksonville, North Carolina. He's a, a Marine, he's from Jamaica. He has a background in sales. Welcome to our family, George. If anybody would like more information about this opportunity, private message me. If your Facebook followers see people winning and joining your organization, what do you think that's gonna make them wanna do? It's gonna make them wanna inquire about what it is that this person just joined. And when they see the different backgrounds, what, this person is a lawyer, what, this is an R&B singer joining Planet Marketing, what? Wait, I need to find out. Let me private message so-and-so and find out about this business. Guys, Little Mo just joined our business. If y'all don't know Little Mo, Lil Mo, Google her right? R&B singer just joined Planet Marketing. Why? Because she travels and it makes sense. I was quick. I didn't bring her into business. She's not nowhere. She's not even in my downline, but she joined Planet Marketing. So doesn't that make her my business partner too? Absolutely. And I'm not saying that I signed her. I'm not saying that in my post. I'm saying congratulations. I'm celebrating her. Good night, baby. I'm saying congratulations to our newest business partner, blah, 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 blah. That is, guys, you would not believe how many people have joined my business because they see me constantly announcing new business partners. And what happens is they have that fear of loss. Fear of loss. 
right? Nobody wants to feel like they're missing out or they call it FOMO, fear of missing out. That's what it is. Fear of missing out, FOMO. No, FOMO is real. If you start seeing people joining a business, joining a business and you not joining, you're going to be like, wait, what's going on over there? I need to find out what they're doing over there, or at least let me inquire and understand what this is about. It might not be for me, but I don't want to miss out if, you know, this could be the next big thing. This could be the next Google, the next Facebook, and I'm just watching it. No, let me find out and inquire what it's about. So that is super, super important. Any other comments? Nick said, seeing is believing. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I have a question. Yeah. Um, the, so for my new business partners that I have, uh, told them all the information. I have constantly told them how important it is for your first 60 days in the business to stay plugged in, mm -hmm. to get on all the webinars, you know, things like that. And they still say, oh, I'm going to get on, but never follow through. Mm -hmm. So what do you do for those 80% of this? <laughs> So let me ask you this. Have all of your business partners had welcome calls? Yes. Okay. If they're not willing to plug in and do what they need to do, then you just move on. You got it. As long as you can lay your head down at night and know that you did all you were supposed to do, gave them all the information, walked them through everything, showed them everything, and they still don't plug in and engage, it's on them. It's there. These are grown adults, right? We can't make grown people do what they don't want to do. It's their money. And if they fall off, they cancel or quit. So what? What did you lose? $4 a month. That ain't going to make or break anybody, right? As long as you do what you were supposed to do as a leader, you made yourself available. You showed them all the tools and resources. You did the welcome call with them. You plugged them into everything. You made sure they knew where everything was. If they don't do what they're supposed to do, move on. That's why you don't ever, ever stop prospecting and recruiting. Never stop. Because if you do, your entire team could fall apart. And then what? Remember, keep in mind, only 5% of them want to be top income earners. Only 5%. So you got to keep prospecting and try, hopefully coming up with more 5%, right? You need 200 people on your team to find 10 that want to be top income earners that can make you a millionaire, right? 10. So you got to keep going. Mr. Bradley always say, find nine that are mine and three that can see. That means go gold and out of that nine, probably three of them might eventually fall off, but three of them are going to see the vision and, and keep going. So always say, you know what? Every month my goal is to go gold. Keep going gold, okay? So never, ever stop recruiting. You can't make people, grown people do what they don't want to do. It's not, their, it's not your problem, okay? You can't want success for your new business partner more than they want it for themselves. And that's why I like part of the onboarding. When I'm onboarding my new business partner, I let them know my role as your coach is to coach, train, and develop you. I'm going to show you all the tools and resources, and I'm going to call plays. And your responsibility is to run the play that I call, whether it be be on a team call, if you don't get on, okay, right? Making your list of 50 people, you know, prospecting, whatever, your travel party, your launch, whatever, I'm, I'm going to call the plays. But the moment you don't run the plays, I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm not calling you. I'm not texting you. I'm not going to beg you to do your business because at that point, they're basically telling you, Coach, leave me alone. I'm not ready to win right now. You can't make somebody play in a game that they don't want to play, right? It takes two. They got to want to be coached in order for you to coach them. And so if they don't want to play, then I'm done. And I let them know that up front. I'm not being mean. I'm being honest. I have a team of over 900 people. I don't have time to chase a grown adult to beg them to get on the team call to beg them to do their online academy. That's not my responsibility. If you don't want to do it, you don't want to do it. But I also let them know in the same breath that when they finally decide, okay, coach, I'm ready to win, put me in the game, they just got to let me know. But I let them know it's going to be because they initiated it, not because I'm chasing them down. They have to tell me, okay, coach, I'm ready now. I'm serious about it. 
okay? And then you run with the runners and, you know, the walkers, you know, we walk with the walkers and the people that just want to sit on a bench, we, we do a couple of laps and we'll come back and say, hey, you ready now? Nope, okay, I'll be back for you. And we're gonna keep prospecting, okay? Teresa said, I want to be in the 5%. Well, you either are the 5% or you're not. You either I'm going for it and nothing's gonna stop me until I hit it or you're just dreaming about it. Are you an 80 percenter who desires to be a 5 percenter or are you a 5 percenter that says, I'm going for it, I've made the decision. And that's what it comes down to. When you make a decision that you're going to do something, now you become one of the 5 percenters. Any other questions? That was a great question, by the way. All right, so my question to all of you, how many of you are committed to helping me make Team Lux Platinum Group the best culture, the most fun culture environment that business partners will never ever wanna leave? How many of you are committed to helping find sell up things to celebrate for your new business partners. I Teresa am. Said, Janine, I am. Charlinda, been out sick a minute, but processing's in rough for me. Charlinda, reach out to me. Get on my calendar so I can help you get on track. Jerry, Louise, thank you. Rebecca, Tyra, LG, Mildred and Nick, thank you. Renee said me. Michelle Snyder said me. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you so much. Thank you, Devoris. Galaxy S9. I don't know who that is, but thank you. Awesome. Gina says I'm committed. Thank you, Thelma. Thank you, Thelma. Congratulations, Thelma. I'm uh, hitting 40-40. Nice. LG, Natalie. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Ashantis. Guys, that is so important. And I promise you, if all of you help with that, you're, you're going to see your attrition go way down. Your business partners are going to be like, oh my God, this is the best business ever. I am never giving up my business. I've been shouted out. I made the top list for this. I'm, I promise you, attrition will go way down. Your retention is going to go way up. And that is going to help you hit that next pin level. There's nothing worse than being like, right there about to hit your next level and then right here on the 28th <laughs> right because somebody went on credit hold I, I promise you help with that so i'm a, the play i'm gonna call for all of you right now we're about to end if no one else has any questions the play i'm calling for all of you right now that are on there's 33 of you on right now is to go through your genealogy and i want you to find one thing to celebrate about your new business partner and post it in Team Lux Platinum, okay? Celebrate, find one thing for every single person on your team to celebrate. And it might be you having to have a conversation with them, right? So here's an opportunity for you to now, you know, call your new business partner and say, hey, just wanted to touch base with you, see how you're doing with the business. Do you have any questions? Hey, have you booked any travel yet? You know, what have you booked? Have you completed any certifications? You know, what's going on in your life? And when I say, oh, yeah, I just booked a, um, you know, a cruise for my neighbor and they're, you know, they're leaving in June. I say, oh, that's awesome. And now you can go and, you know, create a nice little banner for them. Congratulations to Carol. She just booked a cruise for her neighbor. That might be the only recognition Carol ever gets. Right, but we wanna celebrate that, right? Um, I know some people just on ITQ, that was their very first cruise. They had never ever been on a cruise before. So it's been in the back of my mind. I'm like, oh, I gotta shout them out because it was their very first cruise. I wanna shout them out. Congratulations to so-and-so on going on their very first cruise and it happened to be ITQ 2019, right? I wanna shout that out. So I want all of you to, um, find something for every single person on your team to celebrate in Team Lux Platinum. And I promise you, watch how much more engaging everyone's going to be, right? And when you see the leaders or someone posting or celebrating somebody, please comment. Don't just like it. Actually comment. Say congratulations. Way to go. Good job. I'm so proud of you. Do that. And I'm, it's going to make all the difference. And you're going to see your numbers are just gonna to start to skyrocket. 
because they're going to be so excited about their business. They're going to, they're going to talk, they're going to start telling people about it. They're going to be like, girl, I just joined this business. They're going to go to, to, to their job the next day and tell their coworkers, oh my gosh, I'm just so happy. I joined this business and I got shouted out and it's just fun. The people are fun. They're so helpful that I'm telling you, that's how people join your business because they're so excited. They can't keep it to themselves. They're going to start telling everybody. So that person that's afraid the prospect, they won't even realize they're prospecting. They're just going to be casually talking to people they know about how much fun and how much they love their new business. And that person's going to be like, really? Well, what's it about? And there you go. Now they're, they're prospecting and don't even know. Okay. Uh, Katrina said, what if you don't have a business partner just yet? It's okay, Katrina. Then celebrate the other posts that people are doing. If you don't have anybody on your team right now, then just make sure you are celebrating other posts um, and recognition that you see being posted in the group, right? Be, be part of it. You know, sometimes they say in network marketing um, about the meeting. Sometimes you need the meeting and sometimes the meeting needs you, right? Sometimes you need to get to your weekly meeting to get the information, to get the, the motivation, the inspiration, but sometimes the meeting needs you. Sometimes the guests at the meeting need to see evidence of other people that are in the business. And so Katrina, this is a situation where the group needs you, right? They need you to help recognize and say congratulations and way to go. They need you to do that, okay? Great question. So Rebecca is not in Team Lux Platinum? Really? How did you not get in? That's the other thing. And thank you, Rebecca. Let me make a note of that, that you're not in our group. You probably were added, but didn't accept the invitation. Um, so guys, that's another very, very important thing. Go in your genealogy and make sure, or go into Team Lux and make sure that all of your business partners are in the groups. Make sure they're in Team 20 Percenters. I'm going to share my screen really quick because I want to show you guys how to see if your people are in the group. So can you guys see my screen? I want to make sure. Post in the chat that you can see my screen if you can't. Oh, Jerry, thank you, Jerry. All right. So here I am in Team Lux. And all you want to go to is right here. We have 949 members. So when you click on it, it's going to show you all the members. So if I wanted to see, is Rebecca in this group? Nope. Rebecca, that's a different Rebecca. That's not the Rebecca we're looking for. She's not in the group, right? Now, the other thing is invited. If you guys click on invited, remember with the new Facebook, um, you can only invite people to the groups. You can't just add them. If you click on invited, there are 25 people that have been invited but never accepted the invitation. So if you see any of your team members on this list, you need to reach out to them and say, hey, uh, you never accepted the invitation to join the team group, right? And once you invite someone, you are able to resend them. Um, see, so this person, I can send her a reminder. And then I want to, you know, maybe private message her and say, hey, Shante. Uh, check your notifications and accept the invitation into our team group. You're missing out on a whole bunch of information. Okay. So if you see any of your people in the invited list, um, you want to make sure that, you know, you reach out to them and that they accept the invitation. So that's right here under invited. Okay. But if you want to see if your person is in it, you could just, again, click on um, what. I clicked on before. All right. Any questions? This was a really good training. I think so. Did you guys enjoy this training? 
Was it helpful? Did you learn anything? Yes. You always have good trains. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. yes, it was. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I can I let y'all in on a little secret? I didn't know what I was going to train on until about 20 minutes before tonight. <laughs> the training snuck up on me, but I had a convert. I actually had a convert, a one-on-one -on -one coaching call with uh, one of my business partners, and that was the inspiration for tonight's training. So, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of you um, taking the time and participating and engaging in these trainings. Um, we are so, so close to becoming a three-star team. I can tell you we are, we are about 59 people away from being a three-star team, which is so exciting. Um, so, you know, this is the month of March. I want you guys to finish March strong, close out all of your prospects. Anybody you have in your pipeline, you've sent them videos or whatever, collect their decision. Reach out to them, say, hey, you looked at the business, what more information do you need to make an informed decision of whether or not you want to join this business? It, we're at the point where March needs to be, tell me yes, tell me no, tell me quick, I gotta go. We don't want people lingering in our pipeline. We want to collect decisions. Are you in, are you joining me or, or are you not? Are you gonna be a business partner or are you gonna be a client that I just booked travel for? So go through your, um, your list, right? I have my book here of prospects. Anytime I send a video out to somebody, they're in my list. I add them to the list. So I'm gonna to have to go back the month of March to follow up on the people who have not joined or have not told me no yet, right? So that's what you wanna do, okay? Well, that concludes the training for tonight. Thank you all. And I cannot wait to see all the things you find to celebrate with your new business partners. And we will be back again next Monday, 8 o'clock. Uh, don't forget, Midnight Madness starts tonight. Mr. Orlando Moore does Midnight Madness. That is a brief maybe 15, 20 minute business overview that he does. The poster, um, the flyer is posted in Team Lux Platinum. Invite your guests to Midnight Madness, especially if they're on the uh, West Coast, right? That's only nine o'clock their time, right? Midnight our time, nine o'clock their time, or people who live in Mountain Standard Time. It's a great call to get them on to hear from our number three income earner. So thank you all again, and I will see you next week. Bye, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.